Uh, and she wants to bring the Aloha spirit to the White House. Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard officially kicked off her presidential campaign this weekend at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And this morning, she joins us in studio to talk about her big announcement. First off, congratulations so much. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming in this thank morning. You. It's good to see you. Now, in your big announcement, you talked about service over self. Yeah. Now, when did you decide to run for president? Was there like an aha moment? And why is this so important to you? Well, when you look at Washington right now, uh, you can see so many issues, so many problems. It really comes down to the fact that it's being run by self-serving politicians uh, under the influence of greedy corporations and selfish interests, working for their own goals and interests rather than for the interests of the people. And as a result, our country is, is suffering. Our people are suffering. Um, when I raised my right hand and I took my oath to, mm -hmm. to serve our country as a soldier. Uh, I did so because I love our country and I love our people. Uh, and bringing those values, those soldiers' values, to the White House of service before self is what I will do. Now, despite NATO also saying that Russia is at fault for the failure of the Interma Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, you've been outspoken against the current administration and the president. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, President Trump's decision to pull out from this very important INF treaty uh, will make our country less safe, will make the world less safe, because it will spark off this nuclear arms race uh, that not only places all of us in peril, but it will use our resources, our taxpayer dollars, dollars that should be going to address the needs of our people right here at home, and instead put these trillions of dollars into building new nuclear weapons, new missiles, things that will make us ultimately uh, less safe. Our country is at a greater risk of nuclear catastrophe today than ever before in history, and no one knows this better than the people here uh, in Hawaii for what we went through just over a year ago, you know, where we had people who were uh, trying to find a safe place for their their family you know there's the famous image of the father who was lowering his daughter down that manhole cover because he felt that was the only shelter uh, the reality is that we found here that day and that our country has realized is that there is no shelter so my commitment is to as president as commander-in-chief to end this new cold war to make sure that we, we remove this threat of nuclear catastrophe and we focus those resources on investing in the needs of our people and the needs of our communities here at home. You talk about foreign affairs as well as on Saturday you talked about how the current administration is dividing our country. Yeah. What's your biggest issue with the current administration? Ultimately, the, the, you can go down a list of all these different issues and different mm -hmm. challenges we face, but it all boils down to uh, not having a president who is putting service before self. Uh, this president came in and promised to drain the swamp in Washington, but in fact he has turned that swamp into a cesspool. Uh, surrounding himself with people who are more interested in their own corporate interests or selfish interests or interests in power rather than serving the interests of the people, putting the, 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 the well-being of the people in our country first. And that is what has to change. Now, moving forward, it's a very crowded field in, for your party's yeah. nomination, and it's still growing. What are your thoughts on that, and what do you think is your biggest challenge moving forward? Uh, you know, I am, I am solely focused on the people who I am asking uh, to serve. Uh, bringing what I can offer to them as president and as commander-in-chief and I'm excited to hit the road and to bring that message to the country. Any messages for our viewers? Final thoughts? Uh, thank you. I want to say thank you uh, to the people of Hawaii for giving me the opportunity to, to serve you for all of these years uh, and ask once again for the opportunity to serve this time as president. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard officially kicked off her campaign, presidential campaign, on Saturday at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And thank you so much for joining us thank in you. studio. Thank you.